Okay, guys, so it's balancing time again. Hasn't been that long, but I've noticed that my voltage kind of spikes between 15.2, 15.6. Uh, this is the first attempt to troubleshoot it. I have the GM bypass and the diode in line uh, set to charge at um, set point at 15.3 volts. I have no idea why it spikes up to 15.5, 15.6, but it shuts both my mono blank, uh, mono block amps up in the back, which are the Wolframs. And I thought, well, maybe it's a Wolfram thing, right? Maybe because I was cheap and there was a budget amp and whatever the case is, that's why uh, I'm, I'm having problems, but no. I'm having the same problems with my Alpine PDX F6. It it, it shuts down. Everything else in the on the car is fine except that it'll shut off, and you can see uh, there's a light. This is kind of, this is kind of how it looks like. If you look at the top, there's this little emblem, and if I turn this on, you see the top one. That one stays blue, but this one goes in mint uh, red. And when it goes red is when it shuts off. Anyway, just wanted to explain that and why I'm doing this. Not only am I doing it for that, is I was running it without a balancer. These plates were on here. It was this have the arrows pointing up this way. So purpose of this video is to show how to balance these without ha without having to dis disassemble them completely. I had my spacers in there, my double sided uh, foam. Uh, 3m tape foam tape so that they're not touching i don't want to take it apart it's already it's perfect the way it is so i went ahead and i put a first run of masking tape kind of around it and then i kept a one over it to keep it tight so it's nice and solid now previous video i showed how i did this and i when you have them all in line and they're all all your negatives are in one and all your positives are in the other you you, you just kind of loop them around. You, this is the first video I use. I loop them around and then I'm doing this. But this this method, I won't be able to do that. And it's unsafe to reuse those. So I have some some uh, 14 gauge off -C. This This is beautiful stuff. It works perfect. As you can see, it's nice and about three, three braids worth. And that's what I'm gonna use. Let's, uh, let's, let's get it wrapped up. So far, here's how the wiring job goes. I started here with the negative. I used the black for the negative. This kind of helps me visually. I did one, two, and I went over, and I did this. Not too much slack. I put one here and here, and then I pulled it over, and right about there, that's gonna be the center. So I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna cut around here. So about a half an inch on each side would, would be good. And I have to go all the way around. All right, here's the finished product. So I've got my negatives crisscrossed. So here, down and back around. And my positives also. So didn't measure it. I just kind of cut it to size. I'll put on the description what the, each length was for me. Again, 14 gauge Sky High off C. I think it's great for, for what I'm using it for. 